Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Sin Does Tutorials and today we're going to build some shelter. Now I had an idea, I'll quickly break this block so we can get out. There we go, break the block, there we go. Um, sounds just coming up, excellent. Um, so I had, a, had an idea that we could build some shelter because well there's no point having shelter and then, um, <laughs> sorry, there's no point going caving and then having not having a safe place to put your stuff. So that's what I thought would be on the agenda today. As you can see, I've added a few more furnaces in here. So we've got a furnace here for sand. Uh, we're going to make some glass. So put sand in, burn it with the, um, burn it with some coal, and I'll produce glass for you. Let's wait for that to come through, and I'll show you that one. Brilliant. Glass. Excellent. And then we've got the same thing. So we've got stones, which is you make out of cobblestone, or you can silk touch it with a uh, an iron. So with a pickaxe with silk touch on it, it will do the same thing. As you can see here, we've got stone. Um, so that's what the, this stone is. So when you, if you place the block down, it'll look exactly like that. The cobble looks like this. And then we're actually going to be using this to create a something called stone brick, uh, as you can see there. So one in each corner, so four blocks in the crafting table like that makes stone bricks, and you get four per crafting, so every block of 64 you get the next 64. You can also make it in your normal crafting uh, area, because it's a 4 by 4 recipe, um, and it's not shapeless in terms of, it has, to, you can't do like, four like that. <laughs> it has to be sort of like so. And there we go. So we've got we've got plenty of blocks to get started. The only thing I'm going to do is we're going to make some fences uh, and these will be used to make some wonderful, wonderful uh, <laughs> protection for us, I suppose is the best way of, of saying it. So fences. There we go. So we've got a stack of fences, which I think should not be enough actually now I think about it. I need a bit more. <laughs> So yeah, we need we're gonna need a fair amount of uh, fair amount of things for this project today, um, and I spent some time getting prepared for it. So I think we should be right here. So there you go. Oh, I had even more there. Um, you know, what? I'll say I'll save those just in case, just in case. Okay, so those are now done. Excellent. Same with the glass here. So I'm gonna pick up some more glass which we had before. I want twelve because I'm gonna make glass panels. So if you have a quick look in here, so to make glass panels. Quite simple. There we go. Oh, panes. Sorry, glass panes. See it. 16 per six, so it's a pretty good trade-off, uh, and they fill up one block, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. Uh, and we also have pretty much little food, so that's why we're also going to do this today. Um, so let's get out there and have a quick look. Now we can run outside now. Uh, where's the sun? Sun's in the sky, which is great. Uh, I've sort of marked out the area here. This area here is going to be for the farm. So let's start putting in some blocks here, at least to start. So this is going to be the outside edges of the farms. Um, if I can get that to pick up, excellent, I can. And we're just going to go around and we're going to place some blocks. So what this, what we're building here is we're going to build a fence around our property, <laughs> property and the fence here is going to be mob proof as well as spider proof because spiders can climb walls um, which is quite annoying if you don't know um, yeah if essentially it's quite annoying <laughs> pretty much we'll leave it at that and yeah one of the things about this this fence is that um, if you just make it a you know a too high fence that's great to keep all the other mobs out but when you try to keep out spiders oops I think I've gone a bit too far with that one um, Spiders can climb the two-eye fence, though what we're going to introduce into this is that's why we've brought the fences, and the fences themselves will be, um, the fences themselves will provide a little nook, I suppose is the best way of putting it. Um, so I'm going to put a door here, so we'll break out some blocks there, and we're going to make some iron doors today as well, and we're going to use them in the design as well. So there we go, so we've got a two, <laughs> we've got some space there for the, um, for the door but I'll seal that in just for now and what we're going to do is we're going to run around and we're going to start putting our fences out so this here is going to be a secure fence so at the moment this is now going to be um, too high obviously the um, nothing can see through this but we can see through which is great and there we go I thought that would break there so let's try not to break any try not to misplace any more blocks um, but as I was saying a fence is over a block high and no mob can jump over to over a block high except for a horse I think that's only when the horse is being ridden by a player as well as long as it has a high enough jump as well so I'm glad I made more than 64 because we need more than 64 so as you can see here it's working pretty well for us um, 
Bam, bam. Okay, so as you can see here, we've now got a fully enclosed area. We can run around and jump in here. It's quite safe in here. Um, I might keep sheep inside. <laughs> I might keep the sheep inside, um, and we'll see how we go with that. Actually, what I'm going to do over here before we go any further is I'm going to remove this. One, two. Do I save any stone? I did too. Excellent. I am, I am on fire. Um, so what we're going to do is... Sorry guys, one second. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, just had a bit of a distraction there. Um, I actually was thinking about this, and I actually want to move this down to this end. I want to have the, the entrance near the farm, so that way we've got all the area here to build. And um, Actually, wait. The farm is going to probably come out to about here. Let's make the house come out to about here. So let's put the doorway probably midway. I don't know if this is going to be midway or not, but um, <clears throat> for my own needs, it's going to be. Uh, I'm just going to make a new... Uh, a new axe, because we're out of axes. <laughs> so you guys should all know how to make axes, hopefully, now. Um, <laughs> if you don't, please review back to another video. No, I'm kidding. I just made it there for you. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool idea. Um, sort of, I don't know. To me, I always find the first things I need in the game is shelter. And also, um, oops, shelter and also a good amount of food so this way you can conduct all your business activities inside this um, this fortress or walled area um, and that way you will be plenty plenty fine now I got this originally from um, Paul Soares Jr. Check his channel out if you haven't. He's quite popular, so I'm assuming if you've seen him, uh, sorry, if you're seeing this, you've probably seen him already. Um, and yes, so what we've done here is we've created our door, and um, again, I'll just do the same thing here, so that way we can get in and out quite easily, and because I don't want to have to change this over again if uh, if we do it. So let's have a look at making our way out here. So stone buttons. Um, Actually, you know, let, let's make um, let's make wooden buttons. Uh, the only reason I say that is because um, it's easier to see the wooden buttons on <laughs> on the uh, on the wall. But I will make uh, stone pressure plates, as you can see here, stone pressure plates, and that'll allow us to get in and out. Uh, and also, the other thing I want to do is I want to make some iron doors. Um, as well, so let's put the pressure plates down first. So when you step on these, these will activate. Uh, you can step on one, you can step on the other, and it'll activate. We'll go outside and place our buttons down low. And I normally put torches at this level here, just so there's light out here, as well as we are going to grab uh, the iron doors. There we go, and you're something I was missing. So the reason why we're putting iron doors here, you can put wooden doors if you're not playing in a... Um, if you're not playing in a hard difficulty, but if you are playing in a hard difficulty, um, use iron doors so that way zombies can't break them down. So that way you can see, you know, nothing can get in. The horse wants to come in. Do you want to come inside? Come on in. Come on in. But the only problem with having horses or animals inside is that they will stand on the pressure plate and open the door for you, which is not exactly what you want. But yeah, as you can see here, guys, we, <coughs> as you can see here, guys, we have a wonderfully walled area here. Um, so this will be good against mobs, pretty much every mob except for spiders. Spiders will be able to climb over this, as I said before. So let's make this spider proof. Hopefully, I'll have enough here. Um, yeah, that should be plenty and plenty of bricks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around placing them like so um, and I'll probably you know what I'll come back when this is done because it's probably not the most exciting thing to see see you guys I'll be with you in just a second okay guys now as you can see I put a fence and a, another layer above it all the way around it is quite small at the moment but we can expand this at any time that we wish so we may do that later on uh, and this is just a tutorial world so it's not like a it's a common world that I'm going to be in all the time but I definitely would like it to be secure when I need it to be <clears throat> so and also the half slabs on top help from stop mobbing mobs spawn in um, so that's very important as well the only thing i wanted to say was while we're out here we're going to put a lip around it like so silly horse get out of the way <laughs> um so as you can see here we put a lip around it so that way if you don't put the lip around it um spiders can climb up the corners there and that's quite annoying so just something to, to keep in mind over uh, over the course of time um when you're doing this so what i might do now is let's um should we do the farm let's do the farm first i, I feel like doing the farm first um, and what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm just going to make it 
quite easy. Uh, I will probably need to go get uh, a water bucket so we can do it, but I will just make it across the back wall, but I'm going to leave plenty of space. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I'm um, going to leave plenty of space to put in another line. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to dig it out now. Why not? One, two, three, four, and that's five. Perfect. I don't, don't even cut in. So that's good. I will probably fence this off as well, so the... Uh, the naughty sheep <laughs> don't come in and and uh, break my area. Now, of course, I've run out of. Uh, oh no, I have an extra shovel there. Brilliant! It's like a planned <laughs> planned ahead, like I planned ahead. So there we go. Um, so what we're going to do now is I don't. Hopefully, I have enough wood for this. Twenty-seven. Well, if I don't, I will not. <laughs> I will not do what I wanted to do. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to put one there. So what we're going to do is. We essentially, the reason I've done this, these in 4x4 four four areas is so that's where water will will make it. And unfortunately, I've run out of blocks, so I'm going to go grab some. But I'll talk about this quickly. So when you put the water in this block here, it will hydrate all four diagonally out to here. Uh, these ones would have been hydrated as well. It's just I like having them there for a walkway. But guys, I'll be with you in just a second because I've run out of wood. Okay, guys, now I have a bit more wood so we should be able to complete this while we're here and do I have enough yes I do certainly do and the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to plop down my crafting bench right here in the corner for the moment because it will be out of the way and I've made a bucket so fairly simple fairly useful um, and yes yeah, so I think this is going to be sort of building the homestead sort of an episode I was hoping to have some water here and we do excellent uh, I want to use a area that will refill like that one um, and I'm just going to bring it back in. I should probably make a unlimited uh, infinite water supply but I might make that in another episode and I thought this was the double door that I have made in my other world uh, which when I get some redstone I will certainly put in uh, and it, what it all it does is allows you to um, to open both doors at once and it makes it a lot easier to get in uh, into doors like that because I don't know if about you but I always never I never be able I'm never able to get in to those doors really well especially in multiplayer worlds because I find that I get just a touch of lag so I'm just gonna move that out of the way actually what I will do as well is I'm just gonna grab some um, some wooden slabs so <laughs> hot tip for anyone who's doing this chuck a slab in over the top so that way you can um, you can literally walk straight across the water and it still stays hydrated. So um, you can use lily pads, but I find with lily pads I accidentally knock them off and it's a lot harder to knock these ones off. So that's one key thing to do. So essentially this has been built now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some torches out. So the torches will aid in and assist the growing of whatever plants or vegetables or whatever you're growing here um, because the increase in the light level allows for... Uh, quicker growing so therefore plants will grow quicker during the day but I think they'll grow quicker as quickly if they've got the same light level above them anyway um, as the Sun there we go I need to eat some cookies <laughs> so now we've built a nice secure home uh, nice secure area to place our homestead it's now time to build the homestead so let's start I always like leaving two from the corners so we'll come in diagonally two and we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll come in one, two, and the third one in diagonally. And we'll just come down as far as we can. Now this is where the foundation is going to go. And we'll probably dig out underneath it and make a nice little area here for us. Um, this house doesn't need to be too big. It's just the base of operations. And probably downstairs as well we might have a storage area as well. Um, but for the moment I'm just going to dig all this out. Um, and we'll probably, I'll come back uh, once I've dug it out and we'll start laying some of the foundations because this is sort of boring and sort of a waste of the time in the episode. See you guys, I'll be with you in just a second. Fun. Okay guys, so we are back for the final time now. I shouldn't have to disappear before any of the other, <laughs> before the end of the episode. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I did grab some seeds in that interim break. So let's put some seeds out um, because as you can see, I am desperately running out of food. And it will also help us if we get some animals that we would like to breed uh, by having some um, having some wheat ready to go um, because well cows use it and sheep use it 
and chickens use the seeds which will have left over but either way that's fine so I'm just gonna fill this in as much as I can at the moment with uh, with wheat and just use it as an awesome growing area uh, we may look at building a automated one automated farm later on but for the moment you sir need to get out of here because these will jump on the on these things so I said move move I didn't say stay I said move <laughs> anyway, uh, again, beside the points, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this like so, and I know I do need to move that crafting table because the sheep will just jump on it either way. So I wouldn't, I don't want to kill it, so I'm going to let it move out naturally. Come on, Mr. Sheep. There you go. Finally got, finally got the idea. No, don't you dare jump over it. There we go. See. Not a happy camper. He's not a happy camper. Jump around and protest. Protest. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly make a gate as well. Don't want to make more sticks. I have plenty of sticks. So this gate here will allow me to enter, but none of the animal, none of the animal too. <laughs> none of the singular animal too. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly go around and put a base in of cobblestone. Um, this is so that we can have a wonderful, wonderful area. Um, as described <laughs> as described by me <laughs> um, but yes yeah, so what we're gonna do is the nice little cobblestone edging so that way we have our edge of our house I'm gonna build the rest of our house so the the verticals out of uh, birchwood so one two three four five I did see this in um, in one of um, Paul Saws Jr's videos as well I think that's five or maybe that's six one, two, three, four, five. No, that's right. Um, and I do know I'm taking down full damage as I'm jumping down, but that's all right. I can, I can handle it. I'm a big boy, uh, and I will heal back up again. So that's all right. It does cost. Um, I understand it does cost um, not your ability, but it does cost um, hunger. But you know what? We can handle it. We can handle it. We're we're awesome. One thing I'm also going to do now is I'm going to put in some lighting as well, uh, seeing as we we don't want to have anything spawn in our secure area, because that would sort of defeat the whole purpose of this. So I'm just going to quickly lay out some lighting um, along the edges. Looks pretty good. Uh, may not be too uniform, but that's not <laughs> that's not too bad. I'm fairly happy with how it's going to look. So the reason I made a lot of those is because we're going to be using some of this for the floor and for the walls just to give it a good contrast in colors. Uh, obviously you can use any colors you want um, but for a basic house this is fairly simple and easy to get. Wood is quite easy and you don't have to worry too much about creeper explosions because if you've lit up your house properly and the inside of your safety area you won't have to worry about them being in here at all so yeah that's one thing to to keep in mind when you build this is that it's going to be secure so don't worry about having to build it too um too fanatically uh what i want to do is actually is i'm going to line this with um with a bit of uh this birch wood here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some area for some windows um, and I've done the exact same thing twice because I'm really smart <laughs> um, but essentially a too high window will suffice and I think this was one two three yeah so I'm going to leave room in the middle here to go like this and of course Mr. Sheep wants to join in and have a bit of fun with us because you know what Minecraft is a fun game and you should always remember that, that Minecraft is fun and wow I I'm I'm probably might even run out of wood here actually now I'm looking at it if I put this in a square no way that is awesome I didn't think I was even building this in a square but that's pretty cool um, squares are always good um, rectangle I, I prefer to build in rectangles but um, but I can build in a square squares are pretty awesome um, but the good thing about this is it will mean that we have a double door at the front so one two um, I actually want to leave it like this because I want to put a let's see if I can get this this is just a these are sort of design issues at the moment now so none of this is actually uh, anything to do with practicality uh, anymore uh, I'll make it three high and you go two across so that way we've got that and then I wonder if I can do this this way so yes, I'll go out and uh, and get some more wood. I think I actually will probably have to go out and get more now because 
I didn't think I was. I thought I was going to use more cobble, but I decided against the cobble idea, uh, and I decided to use uh, wood like so. But yeah, guys, I'll probably go out, grab some more wood, and I'll come back and finish the episode uh, and show you how it looks when it's finished. But as you can see here, it looks pretty cool. I'll put some light down on the inside. And, uh, and yeah, guys, I'll be with you in just one more second. Okay, guys, uh, we are now, we've done this little little house here, which is pretty nice. I've, put, I've moved the bed inside. I've moved the crafting table inside. The only other thing I'm going to make is I'm going to make some ladders. So we're going to make six ladders, but <coughs> two lots of ladders. I'm going to put them in the wall so we can climb upstairs. Um, I'll just get the other ladder on me for the moment. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to go... Awesome, we love this place, but we're going to fence it off, so just in case we decide that one day when we're, we're going to come home tired from an adventure, we don't walk off the edge and kill ourselves by accident uh, because we have low hearts or something like that. And I made just enough, excellent, I need to make a few more so it worked. And the only other thing we'll do is we'll put one torch here, one torch here, one there, and one there. Quick look at our thing and nine is the lowest so that's a good look and I think we're gonna go have a quick look at that hill over there and we'll have a look back and and see how this looks um, as I said before this is just this is just a simple house to keep you um, safe and secure during the day and night and I probably shouldn't be jumping when I don't have too much food but that's all right <laughs> we'll get we're on the, on the on the on the path of getting food so there you go you can see that there it's really nice I'll just quickly zoom out so you can see uh, how I'm looking and I want to have a look. There we go. So, as you can see here, we've got a nice simple house here. If you've seen a lot of my other, um, a lot of my other areas that I use, this is sort of the typical house that I build. Generally, I might build the area a bit bigger, but um, when you're new and you don't have much stuff, this is definitely a good house to do. And as you can see, we'll be fairly safe. So. Um, yeah, I think next episode we might get into, we might dig underneath, build some storage area, or we might even go mining. We might even go, maybe do a, um, show you how to do strip mining, uh, or we might go down deeper into caves and have to look for some riches, so some proper, proper good things to find. But yeah, guys, I hope you like this episode today. If you have and you want to see more, please subscribe, and a thumbs up always helps. And yeah, guys, if you want to let me know about anything that I've done wrong or right or anything I could do better, please chuck it in the comments below. But as always, guys, have a good day. Sin out.